Hi guys, it's me, Jimmy Eric. The question is that how to become a web designer? First, watch my video how to become a web developer without going to college. I have included the link in the description box below. How to become a web designer? Let's define web designer. Currently, there is nothing like web designer. Now we call it front end web development. For becoming a web designer, you have to master the html you should be the ninja what is html html is a structure just i mean for example we have a simple document html will basically lay out the structure all the tables how the things will appear it is just a structure i mean an ugly looking structure css is sexy there's no doubt css is sexy css stands for cascading styles you basically this give the color this give the look this give the feel this try to seduce the user and then javascript basically is the animation it make the things move it make the things pop up again html the structure css3 is a presentation and the javascript is the animation to become a web designer or a front-end web developer you try to start slow you have to pick some kind of visual book which, which will try to teach you like this kind of stuff i love this book for the beginner i mean how much I recommend this book, even it's less, I want to praise this book whole day. Why I have recommended a lot of people, the, the guys who bought, who listen to my advice, and then they really thanks me a lot. I receive really good emails after recommending this book. That's why I'm recommending again, buy this book. This book is really awesome. I mean, basically, it is a visual guide. To become a front-end web developer or a web designer, my personal advice is that pick up some kind of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, I book, I just go to Amazon.com and I just go to your local brick and mortar store. I mean, you can go to web design corner and find up some book. Try to buy one book for HTML, one book for CSS, one book for JavaScript, but do not buy this book at the beginning. These are the pocket guide. These guide books are for the guys, for the web designer, for a web developer who already know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. My personal bag pick up this book or you can pick up the html and css for dummies i have included even that link in the description box below second thing my personal advice is that if you can afford 200 us dollar per month go and join the front end web development nano degree which is basically like a web designer nano degree but it's not focusing on a web design subject it will even teach you how to build the html5 a javascript game just go to the university.com and click on the front end web development nano degree if you can complete your nano degree within three months it will only cost you 600 us dollar so in conclusion that to become a web designer or a front end web developer basically there's two terms one is called web designer one is called web developer but web designer basically have to know css3 and html and do not argue with me in 2015 javascript is really a must for a back end web developer or just a web developer he need to know he need to know javascript html css but he need to be master at a one or a back end language do not get it dirty i'm not talking about that back i'm talking a back end language like php ruby on rails or python if you are still confused you which back end language you should try to learn i will say go ahead go ahead with php over 90 percent of the all of the web developer part of using python basically the php all of the major sites are built using php but they are already beside using python python is growing in popularity but i will Say stay away from Python. Python is one of a bad thing. I love Python. I did my MIT online introduction to computer science with Python. The, the I mean the drawback of Python is the indentation. I mean normally like in PHP or JavaScript. To be honest with you, we really do not care. We can leave I mean so much white space. The code will still work fine. But in Python indentation, if you don't know indentation, for example your text is here. If you move a little bit by clicking the tab on the keyboard suddenly your code is stopped working i hate that frequency the only drawback it is and the second thing is a lot of servers do not support python so for my personal advice is that master these three language and then know a little bit of back and scripting language like a dynamic language i will say php i mean you have to understand a little bit of php if you already know javascript learning php will be it will be freaking easy my personal advice stay away from ruby on rails just try to learn one of the a little bit basic of dynamic language i will say just go with php do not go with ruby on rails and then even do not think python if you're beginner if you know a little bit php you can just play with the wordpress grouper or joomla or any online 
CMS system. If you don't know CMS, CMS stands for Contact Management System. A lot of web designers are today just using a CMS and they are building the custom themes. To build any custom themes for a CMS, for example, WordPress, you should really know these three language and a little bit of PHP. Why you really don't need to know advanced PHP to build a custom theme because the CMS will be handling your PHP by itself. You only need to just give a template which you have to design in in CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. If you have basic PHP knowledge and then you are gold, you are basically a ninja. So in conclusion, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you need to know to become a web designer or a front end web developer to become a back end web developer you need to know html css s3 javascript and php subscribe to my channel it's me jimmy agix stay motivated work hard and then above all you need discipline code every day at least i will say code four hours a day do not give me excuse even you are for example i mean in a toilet just bring your laptop and code i really don't care but code 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 i will say again Code every day, four hours a day. It's me, Jimmy Agik. Bye bye.